Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Vendify. In this video, we will be discussing the initiatives you can take to generate more sales in your vending machine business and make it profitable. So without further ado, let's get started. Since its inception, business works for only one thing, that is profit. How much profit you can make annually is something that matters the most. So in this video, we will be talking about the minimum investment that is required to kickstart a vending business, your ROI, that is the return on investment, and lastly, what will be the estimate profit margins for the business. Firstly, let's explain the different types of vending machines. First, we have ambient vending machine. These machines aren't equipped with a refrigeration system. Therefore, you can only put products which are not perishable, like snacks, newspaper, books, electronic items like charger, power bank. Secondly, we have the combo vending machines. These machines have both refrigeration and non-refrigeration function in them. So you can put some beverages like cold drink or water bottle inside them along with snacks. Moving ahead, we have beverage vending machines. These machines are fully refrigerated they can be used to put cold products such as beverages, water bottles, ice creams, etc. Popular brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi uses these machines at prominent locations such as airport to attract customers. Now we have the elevator vending machines. These machines are mostly used for sensitive perishable products such as glass bottle drinks, eatables like pastries and cakes, electronic items, medicines and other such fragile items. Now let's talk about the specification of these machines. Generally, there are five trays in a vending machine. You can put around 40 to 50 products in each tray. So you can put around 200 to 250 products in a single vending machine. However, it widely depends on the manufacturer. Some manufacturers also provide customized vending machines for bulk order. We have created a video on some prominent vending machines manufacturer. You can click on the i button to watch that video and there is also a link down in the description box. Moving forward, let us talk about overall investment required in this business. Investment required in a vending machine business is segregated into multiple categories. Number one is the technical aggregator fee. If you're partnering with a technical aggregator, then you have to pay them a monthly subscription fee, which is usually very nominal. Number two is the cost of machine. Let's assume that a vending machine costs around 1 lakh rupee and has an average return on investment of 15 to 18%. This means that the cost of a single vending machine can be recovered in almost one year. Number three is the cost of product inside the machine. You will have to purchase products for each vending machine. Let's assume that you have 300 products stocked in your vending machine and the cost of each product is 20 rupee. So you have to spend 6,000 rupee every week to restock your vending machine. So your overall investment will be the monthly subscription fee of the technical aggregator, the cost of vending machine, and the cost of product that you have stocked inside the vending machine. Although this is not an exhaustive list, as in some cases where the footfall is high for an area, you may have to pay some rental to put your machine as well. Now let's talk about the most essential topic that matters the most in the business. Yes, profit. The revenue of a vending machine primarily depends upon its location. As per a report by IBIS World, the most preferred location for a vending machine is the office and the least preferred location is bar and restaurant. Although you will have to choose the product as per the location of your vending machine, more variety of product will generate more profit. According to another report by Hustle Magazine, the profit in the vending machine business may vary from 43 to 86%, which means your monthly profit will be around 7800 to 20,000 rupees. We did some research regarding the profit margin on different products and we analyzed that the profit margin on soft drink is around 40% while on chips and chocolates it's around 25 to 35%. Let's understand this with a simple example. You have a vending machine which has chocolates, chips, cold drink in it. On average there are 25 transactions in a day. To break it down further, there are 8 chocolates, 8 chips and 9 soft drinks. Let's assume the cost of 1 chocolate is 40 rupees, 1 pack of chip costs 40 rupees and the soft drink sells for 35 rupees. So your per day sales is 955 rupees, which means your monthly sale will be 28,700 rupees. And out of this 28,700 rupees, your profit will be 7,500 rupees. 
you will have a choice to store different categories and brands of product in a vending machine and therefore your profit will vary depending on these factors. You now have a basic idea of how much investment you need in a vending machine business and how much profit you can generate from it. So we hope that this video provides some benefit to you. To know more about Vendify, visit us at www.vendify.in. Viewers, our team works really hard to bring this content to you. In order to appreciate their efforts, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.